This is the Star News Brief. I'm Joel Lidegi. Wiper boss Kalonzo Musioka reportedly flew out of the country to London last Friday, stalling talks to woo him back to the Azimio coalition. This as it emerged that efforts by Raila Odinga's close allies to formalize discussions with Kalonzo's camp have proved futile because of non-responsiveness. The star has established that Kalonzo abruptly jetted out of the country for a private visit to the United Kingdom, throwing the much-anticipated talks into jeopardy. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Azimio presidential hopeful Raila Odinga has deliberately changed his campaign approach, split his teams into regional groups, and bolstered his messaging as the statehouse battle hots up. The new approach has the ODM leader and his running mate and NAC Kenya leader Mata Karua spearheading parallel but well-coordinated Azimio campaigns as time takes to the August 9th polls. Karua, a former presidential candidate, is concentrating in the vote rich Mount Kenya where she has taken charge since last week Tuesday after being unveiled as second command in the Jumbo coalition. Deputy President William Ruto on Sunday kicked off an aggressive campaign to consolidate his Rift Valley backyard and parry away Raila Odinga's push to turn the region into a battleground. Recent polls have shown that Ruto's support in both the North and South Rifts is below 60% as Raila charms the region ahead of the August polls. Stung by this, Ruto has rolled out a frenetic campaign to ring fence Rift Valley from the Azimio presidential candidate. A lobby group has named 25 politicians they believe should be barred from the August 9th elections. The aspirants have been red-carded by the National Integrity Alliance because they are facing corruption and other criminal cases in court. Among the big names is Matira MP and Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance's presidential running mate Rigadi Gashagwa. Members of St. Anne Catholic Church in Kongoni Naivasha were on Sunday trying to come to terms with the death of fellow worshippers on Saturday. The death toll from the bus accident hit nine after another died while undergoing treatment at Naivasha Sub-County Hospital. The crash occurred after a bus ferrying mourners from Kisi to Naivasha was involved in an accident with a lorry transporting sand along the Maimahio narrow road. Get a copy of the Star e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.